welcome back y'all i'm back i'm back i'm back all right let's get into it let's see what's going on with the masculine and the karmic let's see what messages we got what's going on all right so it looks like there's a new direction being taken it came out in the reverse So let's see. Oh, okay, a card flipped over. Where is it? Where is it? We got Divine Masculine. Okay. So it looks like Divine Masculine being not communicating with a bunch of people, staying to himself. Okay, because it looks like he decided to go and take a different route. He's not really, he hasn't been communicating with a lot of people at all. But he said, look, by this summer, he going to pop out. He said, but it's something he going to pop out. So he got it all planned out. Okay. What? He got a whole plan. He is quiet now. But in the summer, he about to pop out. He said he going to be ready to sometime come up. What's going on with the Carmen and the masculine? Self-worth and destruction. This masculine has destroyed his... Like, it's like his self-worth. He doesn't feel, like, whole. He doesn't feel complete. Okay? I feel like there's a lot of things that got destroyed, that had to be purged, that he had to let go of. He had to let go of a lot of things. Okay? And I see somebody here is stalking with deceptions. Okay, so somebody here is doing some stalking. This could be this karmic that's stalking this masculine to make sure that he lit all that. He destroyed his old ways, okay? So let's see what else. I feel like the direction that he took, being that it came out in the reverse, was something that was Something that maybe he even thought he went in a direction that he even thought that he wouldn't even done. He did something completely out of character. He took a route that was completely different from the rest. Okay. He did he took a whole different route. Yeah. So we got release and abandon. Okay, so he I feel like he let go of some friends. He felt abandoned. Some friends might have abandoned him. I'm getting like the direction that he took wasn't an honorable um, direction. It wasn't. Like it destroyed his whole image, everything. And there was a lot that he let, had to let go of. And these are lessons. This was definitely a lesson for him because a lot of people turned their back on him. When he took this route, he did something that was way out of pocket. Communication. Then we got the dark night of the soul. Somebody, it's it's kind of like somebody feel like this masculine made a deal with the damn devil. We got offer and dark night of the soul and communication. It's like this masculine soul himself short. We got ascending and signs. Like all the signs are there. That this masculine just being dealing and doing things. Just because out of his pride and his ego, so people are looking at this masculine like the route that you took wasn't honorable, you really lost some points with that one. You lost some points, yeah. See, he had to, he had to learn a bit. This is something a lesson that he had to go through on his own, okay? He had to go through this, he had to release some things, let some things go, or he got released. He got released. Okay. So this masculine then took a dishonorable route to get some type of clout or whatever. It looked like it backfired. Okay, it backfired. So now let's talk about this karmic. What's going on with the karmic and the masculine? What's going on with this karmic? What's 
What's going on with this karmic? <coughs> oh, whoa. Okay, so we got conclusion. This this karmic is doing some studying. She's trying to figure out how to awaken. I'm getting that she's reading books. She's reading blogs. She's doing everything to try to awaken. Okay. She's trying to mirror somebody. She could be trying to mirror you, you divine feminines. But I definitely do see it mirroring like copycat energy. Okay. So I'm getting like she's reading books. She's trying to find out how to open up her third eye. She's trying to find a way to be more like divine feminine. We got settling. She settled. She settled and she's now having regrets. Okay. She's regretting it because she's dealing with his masculine demons and all the things that he's going through. So she's having regrets. And she settled. She settled. She settled. Now, I feel like when it comes to this connection that she's dealing with, with their relationship, um, she's at a crossroad. She's at a crossroad right now about this connection because I feel like I feel like she feel like she settled. Like she could have did better. Could have found something better. Yeah, I told you. Now, Divine Feminine, she is doing some research. She she been doing some research on she been doing some research. Okay. She's been doing some research on what is the divine feminine and what is a karmic. I told you she's doing some research. Okay. She's doing some research. She's doing this copycat ass energy. Yeah. Because what's going on is she got this summer vibe. She's thinking about the summer. She think about is this masculine going to be deceiving her this summer? Is this masculine going to go out like everybody else do in the summertime and show his ass in the summer? So, she she watching. She said, yeah, this is a pattern. This is a pattern. And he always like to show out. And it's around the time that we separate. Okay? Mm. What else about this karmic? What's going on with this karmic? Oh, karmic partner. <laughs> Just straight up, karmic partner. I told you, see, look at this. We got karmic partner and understanding. I'm telling you, she is doing research. She's been watching y'all. If y'all have been talking about, you know, healing and uh, karmics and twin flames and all of this stuff, she is doing her research, okay? Because for some reason, she feel like she settled. She started to feel like she settled in this connection because she's trying to be more like Divine Feminine. She feel like she need to live up to Divine Feminine. She's trying to get to Divine Feminine um, energy by this summer. She said, yeah, by this summer, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be way better than Divine Feminine. This could be a karmic. Yeah, this is a karmic relationship. But at the end of the day, we together because we got union and karmic partner. Now, keep in mind that with this union here, it's two people here, and they under a full moon. And this karmic is three people right here <laughs> under a full moon. So she feel like she settled for being a karmic when this really what she trying to get to. She trying to get to this energy. Now, I'm telling you, she been doing some research. She's doing some research to try to understand, to try to understand more about the connection. So she could look at this. Now we got understanding the answer is just in reinvent. She's going to try to reinvent herself. I told you I'm getting this copycat ass energy. She's trying to copy the divine feminine. Didn't I tell you? Mirroring. She's trying to balance out the scales to make sure that she on the same level as you. And she definitely coming. She she taking action. She doing whatever she needs to do to mirror you. To mirror the divine feminine. To raise her vibration. Because really, what this stalking and all this has turned into, she really admire you. But she's not going to tell you that. She really like what you're doing. She really like what she see. She really admire you. 
But she's trying to stop this masculine from returning. She's putting a barrier up from this masculine returning to you. So she know, like, she feel like, oh, no. Let me do my research. Let me do my research. Mm -hmm. Let me do my research. Let me do my research. Research, research. Google. <laughs> she probably tearing Google up. Tearing Google up. <laughs> tearing Google up, honey. I'm going to take this to the next video. We're going to use the Island Time Wellness. And then we're going to go a little deeper. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.